Hey, not sure if you've noticed, but I just bought six of these. So you may have seen me in a, a V-neck white tee in the last five or six videos because I'm breaking them all in one at a time before I wash them. Uh, I just made this amazing stew, I guess you would call it. It's like a lentil, bean, vegetable soup. All nat you know, natural ingredients. I put like a couple heads of broccoli in there. A red pepper, I think I did a green pepper and a yellow pepper actually, some olives. You know, dashed it with some cayenne, I got a cucumber in there. There's like two cans of mixed beans, black, red kidney. What else did I get in here? Oh, there's a bunch of garlic and uh, an entire, uh, almost an entire red onion. It's so, oh, I put the celery seeds in there. Right? And, uh, what do they call in, in rye bread? You got your uh, caraway seeds. Those are really good if you put them in and then soak it. Like let them sit in here while it's like just heating up. It makes the caraway seeds kind of get really soft. Um, oh, and then there's a bunch of tomatoes. Put like six six Roma tomatoes to base it out. You know, a bunch of vinegar and oils. Uh, the lentils though, they really make it uh, give it some full body. And then I make a huge pan of it. I'll show you if I can. I'm going to bring it out here. So basically, when I make this stuff, I make it in this. And uh, if you can see in there, I don't know if you can really see in, but I just fill it, you know, fill it to the fucking brim. And then I have it for, you know, a long time. So all in all, it's just all these, oh, I put, I put a jalapeno pepper in there too. And um, it lasts, you know, five or six days or however long you want to take to eat it. And it stays good. Put it in the fridge. It's, you got it for at least a week before you have to even think about starting to get rid of it. I mean, I'm sure you could just flash cook it again and make it, bring it back from the dead. But I usually, you know, it costs like, all told, these ingredients probably cost me like $11 and, uh, or $12. And it's like 10 meals. So instead of spending $7 a meal, I'm spending one for like 10 meals. So that's like 80 bucks I just saved. And it's better than most food I could buy at the store. I know exactly what's in it. And it's here. And it's, it's so good. I feel so good when I eat it. I have the best shits at the workouts, the, like when I do push-ups, it turns like into muscle, like really fast when the beans and the lentils are in your body. When you like press and you can feel the blood flowing, it just becomes muscle like right away. All right, I talked about it long enough for the steam to clear. No, okay, so I'm actually going to let this cool while I'm talking. I cannot take this. This is like the biggest topic right now. So I started off with atheism, and then that led me to taxes and government. And the fact that it's, I'm watching Rogan right now. Check it out. I'm watching uh, Joe Rogan Experience with Dave Smith. And it just came, so like Sean... Uh, winning land yesterday is like taxes are theft and I'm like oh it's such an extreme statement some taxes are theft so I brought it up my friends Jeff and Jesus came over last night and we were I asked them do you think taxes are theft or I think I just asked Jeff before Jesus got here and Jeff was like some taxes are theft income taxes theft income tax was created by the Federal Reserve to pay back interest which is the Federal Reserve shouldn't even be there it's this fucking private company that I mean, come on, guys. Let's get rid of the Federal Reserve. Come on. Stop talking about all the bullshit and focus on the fucking problem, which is the Federal Reserve and the interest. Who wants to pay income tax? You don't have to pay income tax. It's a private company that where you're paying that to. It's not a government thing. So some taxes aren't theft, I believe. Because right now, the cops are out there patrolling... The fire department is ready to put out any fire. If my neighbor's house catches on fire and they don't have enough money to pay a private fire department, which is what I've been, they're like, oh no, taxes are theft. It should be a voluntary system. You should just pay the fire department uh, a voluntary f amount of money and then they'll come protect you. So what happens if your neighbor didn't pay his voluntary fee, his, his fire tax or whatever the hell you want to call it to the private fire company? His house catches on fire. They don't come to put it out. Oh, but the fire doesn't give a shit and it burns into my house. So that's why I pay this small amount of tax to make sure that the firemen have a salary so that they will take care of anyone's house at any time. 
And I had this guy come in uh, yesterday who's like, uh, uh, the fuck is his name? It was like a girl's name. No offense, guy. I was just kind of mad at him because he was like, such a dick came to rap me with such anger. Um, and I asked him the same thing. What happens if that guy's house catches on fire? He's like, tough shit. I'm like, okay. What happens if that fire spreads to the next guy's house? Now you have two houses on fire. What do you do? And he was like, I go help him put the fire out. Firstly, uh, sorry, there's a big blazing fire, tough shit. No, that's why you socialize fire health prevention. You make sure that nobody's built. It's a, I think of physical health is a similar thing, which is why I think we should have taxes pay for health care. Because if my neighbor comes down with the black plague but doesn't have the money to get it treated, and he's walking by my building every day and coughing and spitting and, and sneezing, I don't want that shit. I want him to be healthy. So that's why we should have a national tax similar to fire prevention. You get your police. I have my roads outside. There's a big pothole in the road. The, the traffic lights are run by tax money that powers it, that pays for the electricity, that pays for the traffic lights, that pay for the people sitting in the building, making sure the traffic lights are all working. That's not a voluntary system. We're, it's guaranteed. We've guaranteed it for ourselves by creating a system of taxation. So in that sense, I didn't agree to it before I was born. I found out after I got here, oh, by the way, you also have to pay tax. And I wasn't like given the, I didn't option into it, but by staying here, I'm optioning into it. I could go elsewhere and stop paying tax. But if I want to stay in this protected society, and then they're like, no, freedom means no tax. I'm like, dude, you know, you got to realize freedom is earned. It's, it's paid for and earned by hard work. It's not like the natural state of things. The natural state of things is the strong survive, the weak get dominated and get killed. So if you live in that society, the dude with the gun is going to walk around and murder. And if you didn't pay your police tax and your voluntary taxless society, if you didn't pay a private thug to come protect you, the, the you know, yeah, that's why we have a taxation system paying for police to keep order so that you can go outside and walk around. Rant. Can you see the steam? Okay, I didn't option into the system. I didn't option out of the system. Like freedom. I want to talk about freedom and what freedom means. Freedom means that you can go outside and walk around without getting attacked, basically. Freedom means no one's going to come to your house and kill you. More times than not, that's the, your day-to-day -day life is you have access to food. You're not physically bound. Uh, you're not locked up. And you can walk around and go wherever you want, whenever you want. You're free. That's because we have a socialized military that taxes pay for. And socialized police that taxes pay for. You wouldn't be free if you didn't have a police department protecting you. You'd be in danger. And that's not being free. 